in conversation with Rina Chung of South Korea about India and South Korea cultural relations. Uh, my next question is that uh, there are historical and records and the mythology indicates that one of the princes uh, from Ayodhya was married to the king uh, in South Korea and there are temples, there are palaces, uh, buildings still existing pointing to that. Would you like to talk something about that for my viewers here? Um, these days a lot of uh, Indian youth know Korea as uh, K-pop, Korean music and Korean drama and Korean movies, but I would like to make an emphasis on that uh, 2000 years old, the very strong historical connections between India and South Korea through this unbelievable, amazing princess of Ayodhya, Suri Ratna, who came to Korea 2000 years ago, who got married to Korean king. And today we have the more than populations of Sweden are actual descendants of this uh, princess of Ayodhya and the Korean the king. The actual descendants? Yeah, Kim, Kim Suro. So okay. in Korea, uh, the last name, Kim. Okay. And uh, the husband gave his wife from India the Korean last name, Ho. Okay. And the two sons have the, the mother's last name, Ho. Okay. And the oldest the son has the father's last name. So in Korea, the Kim e Kim and Kim e Ho, they cannot get married because they are from the same, same family. Yes. So the real descendants of the Princess of Ayodhya and the Korean king. There are more than populations of Sweden that live in South Korea. That's a very strong linkage from history to the present day reality. Correct, yes. correct. And uh, so India and Nepal have a very strong connections and people work, uh, travel and work very frequently and I hope to have India and South Korea to build that strong connections, the 2000 years old the strong historical connections uh, to be rebuilt. So then I strongly believe that people to people exchange is always the, the best way. So more uh, people between India and South Korea to visit each other's countries and to get to know about the, our history and culture. Yes, uh, you are very clearly and very well brought out that in view of this strong connection between the two great uh, locations and countries, India and South Korea, uh, there are strong reasons that uh, this ties, this connection, this relationship should be taken further and needs to be strengthened. I think uh, the listeners here will take note and your words are profound, uh, they would motivate them to think and work in this direction. Thank can, you. Thank can I you. make a, a few more comments on that? Yes, yes, okay. continue. Okay. Oh, it, uh, one more thing that I would like to mention, everywhere people love a beautiful love story. Uh, in the Western literature, Shakespeare is yes. very well known. And, and you know you know Romeo and Juliet. Yes. And we know the story in the end, it's a very sad ending, tragedy. Yes. But I would like to emphasize emphasis on the beautiful love story between India and South Korea because of the Princess of Ayodhya and yes. the Korean King Kim Suro. It's a beautiful love story with a happy ending. I think, yes, I think this story should be brought out and better publicized, whether in theater, films, the books, the visuals, right from the kids to those elders uh, that would uh, go to promote the proximity bringing together the two set of people. Thank you. That's a great idea. Be with us. We will continue our conversation in the next video also.